Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Now, what I want to talk to you about today is a product which is all about designed for putting the condition into our hair and keeping it as healthy, shiny and as fresh feeling, as fresh looking as possible. Now, as we move into the colder weather, we're in those four months at the moment where, of course, we're starting to lean towards the latter part of the year now. And of course, yes, it's going to be a little bit more chilly and yes, it will mean that we all need to start paying a little bit more attention to the condition of our skin, our hair, how we feel in the winter months can often make us feel a little bit more flatter, um, can often affect us in mood, it can often make us feel a little bit more down in down sort of just generally um of course with that colder weather and more so than ever really this year because of the covid situation with our lives being very restricted but we all of course know that we have to follow those measures for us all to stay fit well and healthy what i want to talk about today is something which is being sort of a, uh, a bit of a notion really on my channel of looking after the condition of your hair now of course i as you can see have got highlighted hair at the moment which actually takes a lot more looking after in terms of keeping the moisture in your hair, in terms of keeping it really well conditioned, really well uh, moisturized, um, in terms of using all the right conditioners, all the right sprays, you name it, just to keep the hair looking as healthy as possible, as shiny as possible. The last thing in the world anybody wants after they've paid all that money for a color or for a haircut or for a style or for probably what I've got like here or even a little bit different is really dry, just completely naff hair um, and completely washed out hair and that's not what we're going to be looking at at all. This is all about trying to keep the condition in hair. So the products I'm, I'm talking about and what we're looking at here is this is two products which I've been using for a little while on and off. You will know from my channel that I am an avid user of all different products and I like to try different things just to try and keep the thickest hair possible and to keep now the most well conditioned hair possible. Now I have lighter, uh, lighter hair in places of course. Now I flipped my hair off to this side as I was styling it today. Now it's darker on this side. This is a side where it has a lot more lighter sort of highlights in it. So if I put it off to this side, you will see it's a lot more lighter. But however, sometimes I just like to break it up with a little less lightness because a lot of the highlights which I have are very silvery, a very blonde tone. And if I'm using a lot of heat on there, sometimes it takes that much for me to put so much condition into there. Sometimes I like to break it up so I see a bit more of the brown, so it's a little bit more natural, so it's not an out there look. But it's not a lie to be quite honest with you. Anybody who says having blonde hair or having highlighted hair, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, it takes a lot more looking after. It's a the, the easiest way I could probably explain it is it's a very, it's in a way, it's a luxury colour, isn't it? It's a very luxury service to have, particularly if you've started off from dark hair. So there, of course, you're going to have to make sure that you look after it with all the right things. Now, very often on my channel, I talk about always using a heat protectant. Now, that's something which I never really used to do. I always used to seem to think that using conditioner would be enough to look after my hair. And then I started looking at root lifting sprays and things like that for creating volume and for helping create thicker hair. And then slowly as time went by, as I was sort of using uh, a straightening iron and I was using the blow dryer a bit more often, and now I use a blow dryer nearly every day. Um, or if I'm using, or if I'm wearing a style like my 1910s, my 1920s slip back and side slip back looks, and of course I don't necessarily use heat on that at all, probably sometimes just to dry the gel in or to dry the pomade in slightly. So a heat protectant is always something I would recommend. Now the one I have been using now for quite some time, I've had this for a couple of months, and I use different products, but I always seem to come back to this at the moment. Now, Number one, a heat product always lasts me a long time because, of course, you don't absolutely saturate your hair. You just spray a mist of it through your hair just as you're going to style your hair. Now, this one I really, really like, and I've used this a bunch of times, and I do. After I sort of, I sort of seem to go in a circle where I buy several different products to try, and then you tend to buy one which you feel comfortable with and you know works for your hair. So this one here is by the Tresemme uh, Pro Collection. Now I have covered the Pro Collection a couple of times on my channel, but it's in regards to collagen and making the hair uh, appear thicker and fuller. Um, but this is the first time I've covered this product actually on my channel. Now, I really, really like this one. So this is Keratin Smooth, and this is up to 230 
230 heat protection, and this is with Marula oil. It's got five benefits, one system, so it's up to 72 hours of uh, of frizz, so frizz control, uh, silky shine, it's perfectly detangles, it's a soft feel, and it uh, tames flyaways. And apparently that's up to 72 hours. To be honest with you, I can't comment. I haven't never gone 72 hours without washing my hair, so I can't really comment on that, being completely honest with you. But what I do absolutely feel comfortable in telling you on this one is for me with a heat spray or a root lifting spray or anything like that which is a wet product which you're putting in your hair always put wet products in wet hair for example don't try and spray this in dry because it just doesn't leave you with the same effect in your hair at all when you use this in wet hair so after freshly shampooed and conditioned hair now i don't use the shampoo conditioner from this range because i'm not particularly a great fan of tresemme shampoos and conditioners i'll be very very honest i find that they leave my hair feeling a little bit too unnatural so the the sleekness the softness tends to make my hair feel as though it's a little bit unnatural now I can't comment categorically and say that it is unnatural. It might well just be the products in there which of how they're leaving my hair feel. So they're that soft and sleek. It does make my hair sometimes feel as though there's a bit more of an unnatural product in there. So I tend to kind of stay away from Tresemme shampoos and conditioners. But having said that, I do like their mask treatments and I do like their sprays such as this one. The only one ex as exception to that, which I do really like, is the collagen one for lift and volume from the range. And I really, really do like that. I think I'm more or less talking about the ones in people uh, who would probably know the brand of Tresemme wherever you are in the world. You know when you can buy sort of only for a few pounds and it's a huge bottle. Um, those type of ones don't necessarily leave my hair feeling very, they leave it feeling soft and sleek but not particularly in a nice way if you get what I mean. But I do like the products sort of like you could say the Pro Collection. What I really, really like about this as well is I, when I go for a heat protectant spray, I always try to have a look for the temperature on that. So I always have a look, what does the protection take me up to if I've got this in my hair? In here, it's 230, which I really, really like. So it will protect my hair supposedly up to that heat. But what I would say is if you're using really high superheated tools daily on your hair, regardless of a heat protectant spray, you will start to find that it will dull the hair. You will start to find that the hair becomes, takes on a little bit of a straw-like texture and you will find that eventually it will dry the hair out. The heat protectant spray is just like a barrier, puts it in the way it just gives you that bit more layer of protection. Like for example, if we go out into the sun, we use a sun uh, cream, we use sunblock, that type of thing. The heat spray to a certain level just protects that hair. It doesn't ultimately stop damage. It just protects your hair even more than what you would do with your own natural sort of defense of your hair and just reusing a shampoo and conditioner. So what else do I really like about this? I like it because it leaves my hair soft and sleek and I really really like it. If I'm going for a volumized style like this one today, I can spray this in my hair and I can have confidence that it's not going to go frizzy. Sometimes if I've used a brush and I've sort of lifted my hair away from my scalp a little bit, the ends can go a little bit frizzy and the ends can go in the opposite direction of what I want it to sit. This spray helps my hair sit in a really nice, uniformed way. So then I can go in with some either pomade, some product, some gel, or some free spray just with my fingers, pull my hands through like what I've done today, and then spray it. Then I know I've got this real nice, sleek, sort of divided look, real polished finished look, which is what I've got today. And I hope you agree, it shows the highlights off really, really well, particularly in the front here, which I really, really like. This, I don't probably give this enough um, sort of light i don't really talk about this one enough probably but this features quite a lot particularly a lot of my recent hairstyles as well this keeps my hair looking really healthy really shiny really really sleek how much should i pay for this i believe it on the four pounds mark i've had it for a little while now and i know on tresemme pro collection products they always do sort of have offers on the supermarkets and things here in the uk and sort of boots super drug that type of thing where i do tend to buy a lot of my products from as well and um, but this one really really like so it's 200 mils spray bottle last and last and last i'll just tell you a little bit about it on the back here smooth hair doesn't have to be straight you won't uh, you want hair that is shiny silky and protected from frizz so i think that's what it's saying there is just to get shiny hair it doesn't have to be super poker straight so like what i've got today if you're getting that volume if you're getting that lift in your hair it can still be super soft sleek and shiny so if you had really long hair and you were a lady watching this and you had that really glamorous nice wave in the hair 
this would be a perfect heat protecting spray to spray it through to perhaps use some tongs or to use a straightener or however in your hair it gives absolutely amazing shine and of course a glamorous look on any lady with really nice flowing hair amazing um so on the back of that that's my heat protectant spray but if we step back when you have used and forgive me if you can hear a, a helicopter in the background yes every time i do my filming there is always something which comes in so i do apologize i'm just going to keep going after you've styled your hair yes okay if you've used a heat protectant hair you've got that level of protection which we've covered but what we very often don't necessarily think about is the after effect. We always think that, yeah, OK, I use a good quality hairspray. OK, I use a good quality styling product and I use a heat protectant spray. My hair is going to be fine. It's actually not. Sometimes, particularly as we come into the winter months, that latter part of the year with the cold weather, so much is against us. The environmental factors, literally just through walking out in the air, if it's the rain, what have you. There are so many elements which can affect the quality of our hair throw in heat devices every day, throw in colouring, bleaching, that type of thing, whether you're a man or a woman, your hair can still, to be honest, start showing the signs of wear and tear. So this is where this product comes in. Now, I absolutely like this, and I've used this on and off for a few years, and this sits in our family bathroom. My mum has super, super long hair. It's coloured, and she uses this every now and again just to recharge the shine in her hair and the condition. And that's exactly what I use this for as well. It's got an incredible smell. And talking about smell, the heat protecting spray smells amazing as well. It's really, really nice on the hair too. In here, so this one again has, it's keratin smooth. I'm going to talk about that a little bit in, in, in just a moment. And this has got some marula oil in as well. Five benefits, one system. And I believe, if we're being honest, I believe the system is made up of the heat protectant spray, the mask and the shampoo and the conditioner. But as I say, I don't particularly like the traditional Tresemme sort of big bottle. People in the UK will know what I'm talking about. Um, and of course, elsewhere, not being presumptuous, elsewhere in the world they were as well. Tresemme years ago used to do the big bottles, didn't they, of the shampoo and the conditioner. It used to last and last and last. Um, and that's not, I've, I've never really been a fan of those at all. The Pro Collection, I like the, the volumizing uh, collagen one, really, really like that one. And to be honest with you, that's kind of all I really looked at in the pro uh, collection, to be honest with you. The shampoo may well be something I look at in the future, but for me, I like to just chop and change and use different products from different uh, ranges and systems and things. And that works well for me and I like to explore the products. So for me, when would I use this? So for example, if out of a seven day week, I have used heat on my hair five days, then whenever my hair needs it it is not set in stone when you would use this if you're feeling your hair and you're thinking actually it feels a bit tired feels a bit washed out feels a bit dull and flat it's time to grab something like this just because it's a deep smoothing mask doesn't mean to say it's just for women let's be honest it's 2020 with different hair products and things men like to look just as good as well in terms of hair everybody likes style a lot of people choose to wear color in their hair now as well a product like this is going to be great for just recharging everything keeping that optimum health in the hair making everything look super sleek super healthy and really really cool and trendy at the end of the day cool sleek hair is healthy dried out hair does not look good let's be fair so this is really really cool it's smoking uh smoking <laughs> it's a smoking hot product yeah but it's a smoothing mask and it just makes the hair feel so much more revitalized so much more lifted smooth and really really just healthy and well looked after so in here our keratin smooth deep smoothing mask with marula oil deeply nourishes to give hair instant suppleness it defends against humidity keeping the hair smooth and frizz free so that okay i can't really comment on because um, humidity here in the UK, it is the latter part, we're coming on to the latter part, we're in November, the latter part of the year, the humidity of course is not there, so I will leave that for anyone else to comment on, but for me, if I'm using a heater device or like a blow dryer or anything like that, I don't, I don't get sort of too much frizz or anything, if I've used a brush then I do sometimes at the ends, but the heat uh, spray is really really great for that as well, I can't really comment on the mask itself if it helps against that, but what I can say is that it helps put the condition back into your hair, it's like almost Easiest way to describe it is if you've got thirsty hair, like if you look at your hair and you think mm, it looks a bit dry, it looks a bit washed out, it could do with some help, um, then this is the perfect product for you. Now, how long would you leave it in your hair? To be honest with you, I would put this in at the start of my shower and then when I'm just getting out, I would wash it out then after shampooing my hair and then literally towel dry off or use a blow dryer, but then of course, use a heat protectant on your hair as well and then you're going to get that real supercharged, healthy, well looked after effect, which is great. It smells amazing. Price range, again, around about the £4 mark. They do vary considerably, so just be careful with the price of what you choose to pay on that. But it ultimately does leave your hair looking and feeling pretty damn good. Let's talk about, so both, uh, both products here, you have 
seen me mention keratin. Well, our hair is, of course, keratin. Now, I absolutely believe that I once uh, was chatting with somebody who was cutting my hair and they they sort of got me thinking about keratin and if our hair is made up of keratin, then any product in there with keratin will help our hair be more uniform, be more structured, more strong. The integrity of the hair will be looked after more well. Um, more well, it doesn't really make sense, does it? The integrity of our hair will be better looked after. There we go, got my words out properly. So on the back of these products and the ingredients here, which I always find really, really quite eye-opening and uh, useful to find, is you usually find that it's hydrogenized products in the back here. So as you can see, hydrogenized keratin is in both. So what that means from my understanding is they try to mimic the structure of the hair, of what keeps hair strong and healthy, and then they find a like product, so hydrogenized keratin, and they pump it into these type products, which again, when it sits on the hair, if you can imagine a hair cuticle, if you can imagine sort of like a long structure of hair, and then there's sort of openings in the side, it's a bit chipped, it's a bit damaged, a bit rough, worn, torn, that type of thing, the hydrogenized keratin comes along, sort of elopes around the hair follicle, making it soft, sleek, and sort of wraps itself around. And then, of course, we get that feeling of really soft, luxurious, soft, healthy hair. The hydrogenized keratin helps with that. So if you're pumping a mask product in there, it's staying on for all that time. It's looking after the hair. It's filling up all those sort of perhaps worn areas on the hair cuticle. The heat, uh, the heat protectant spray, then you're spraying over the top. If, for example, you were using the shampoo and the conditioner, of course, I can't comment, but it's going to help the keratin-based product as well. So it's going to really pump all that condition into your hair and it's going to really make it feel much more looked after, much more healthier. So that's where it kind of comes from in keratin. But if you're looking for a product and you're always thinking you've got a bit of damaged hair, you've got a bit of wear and tear in your hair, a keratin based product is always going to be one for you to help you look after your hair and get your hair into a fit and well shape. Okay, so I hope you really enjoyed that clip. These products are something which I do use on and off. If you are an avid watcher from my channel, then you will know that currently I am taking Viviscal, which is a hair growth supplement which helps my hair grow to its optimum potential. We don't mean super, super in amounts of inches in one month, just the natural, normal growth phase. Of course, to achieve that, your hair has to be super, super healthy. I'm quite a naturally stressful person. There's a lot going on with health things going on in the background at the moment. So I'm continuing taking that with absolutely great success. It really is making my hair feel really nice and full. And it is helping my hair feel that much more thicker as well since I started it about eight months ago now. We're nearly on to. So these products just help look after my hair on the outside. And I'm taking care of my hair on the inside with Viviscal. Okay, I really hope you've enjoyed that one. I certainly did indeed. And until next time, we will see you then. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Stay safe. Bye now.